You got me going in circle. Oh, round and round I go. You got me going in circle, baby. Oh, round and round I go. And I'm strung out over you. Y'all know as soon as I get ready to make these videos, um, my dogs start to um, really act a fool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? What happened here? What happened here? I am totally unaware of the situation. However, let's keep it moving. I guess it's switching on its own. Um... Let me say something, y'all, and, and this is real kind of important um, because this is crazy. Given this lady, she needs a heads up that her behavior is inappropriate. The last woman that I know that did this, she created um, one of the most craziest human beings that uh, <laughs> the only thing short of it, he didn't murder anybody. But we have um, uh, an, an, an unhealthy mother. Her name was Alicia Silverstone, Stone, and she's 45. She reveals that she still shares the bed with her 11-year-old son, Bear, and claims that she's simply following nature. Ten years after admitting she fed him by pre-chewing his food and passing it into his mouth like a bird. Um... She's ruining this son, and I don't know where his father is. Uh, either he's not in the home, or he's extremely, extremely wimped out. Because she, this needs to be stopped. And I'd like to ask some of my male listeners, because I don't mean to be disrespectful in any kind of way. Isn't it true, because I've raised boys... And I know that in the morning when they get up, their little penises be rearing up. And not because they're, it's, it's on purpose that they're doing that. It's just how nature, as she said, is following nature. Now, Alicia Silverstone has revealed that she still sleeps with her 11-year-old son, Bear Blue, insisting that their cold sleeping arrangement is more of a natural way of doing things. The 45-year-old opened up about her unique, she should never did this, a dynamic with her only child during a wide-ranging interview on the Ellen Fisher podcast, during which she claimed that she simply is following nature. No, you're not. You're about to, you, 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 you have very unhealthy uh, freakazoid tendencies. And this could lead along the line of incest. And this is an incestuous relationship. Right now. I'm not saying that you have an intercourse with her, but you're in, uh, participating in, in a behavior that can lead to that type of uh, action. She said, Bear and I still sleep together. And comparing her co-sleeping arrangement to humans trying to survive in any kind of wild settlement. If you were in any kind of wild setting and there were wild animals, if you put your baby over there and your baby is going to be eaten, she said, while pointing herself away from herself. So it's not ideal for the baby to be over there. Okay. But we're not in that situation. You don't have a baby. You silly woman, you have an 11-year-old son. Ten years after sparking furious controversy by revealing she fed her son by pre-chewing his food and passing it to her mouth like a bird. Oh, this poor child uh, who follows the attachment style of, of parenting. 
also spoke out how she rarely used diapers while potty training and her son from the age of six months uh, and noted that she has never raised her voice with him. Oh, where is this boy's daddy? What mother and style uh, about mother and she raises her living on who she shares with her ex-husband, Christopher Jiraki. Okay, he don't live there no more, probably. That's it. The San Francisco native then joked that they would likely be in trouble with mom shamers, but added that at this point in her life, I really don't care. She proceeded to sum it up her style by apparenting by calling herself a natural mama, a loving mama, focusing on gentle communications and cutting out things like TV from their family home. This it's need, uh, Honey, you need um, a psychiatrist at this point to give you double double duty. She, this this is not appropriate, and I would like some of uh, my therapist uh, students and friends to chime in on here and tell me what you think. I believe in love. I believe in nature, and our society is scared of nature and scared of love in response to any criticism. My God. The thing is, I think that's what's wrong with society. It's too much incest. The things I'm doing, I'm not inventing. I didn't invent any of it. No, you didn't. I would love to take credit for it, but unfortunately, I'm just following nature. I just wanted to do what's healthy, the, the healthiest for him at every turn. So every choice I make is either Built on instinct or deep research. Okay. And what book are you studying? And where are you getting this? Um, why don't you just talk to some old parents? I mean, why don't you just go Everything and every all the knowledge you get is not, you're not going to find because um, you're following somebody's opinion. Doesn't that disturb you when your son looks like that in the morning? Don't you think it should be more private for him to have his own little erection in his own little uh, private spot? And why are you corrupting that boy's mind like that? So the first female that he's fallen in love with, and I mean seriously, and probably go masturbate with, is in the bed with his mother? Uh, somebody need to come and get this boy out this crazy woman's house. That's all I can say. Um, anyway, she says, uh, I just wanted to do this healthiest thing and to make it, it's either built on instinct or deep research. Remember back when uh, Jack was a newborn toddler? Alicia revealed that she rarely used diapers during potty training phase and instead watched his cues to figure out when it was time for a bathroom trip. It's so awesome. It's so easy, she said, in reference to his body cues. When I was done feeding him, he would go to the bathroom in a toilet. When he woke up from a nap, he went to the bathroom. The actress and author confesses that there was a period of time when she watched him uh, when he was naked to look for those clues. See there? What is she grooming her son for? And if it was a man talking like this, what would we say about him and in the society? What would we say if this was a man talking like this crazy bitch? The clues part for me was really fun because I thought he was flirting with me because he would do this little smile and that meant he had to pee. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, uh, <sighs> oh my God! Anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I can't read no more of this disgusting article. Anyway, y'all can go to it. It's the it's Daily uh, Mail. And her name again, Alicia Silverstone. 
And she talks about all the experiences she had sharing the bed with her 11-year-old son. I'm done. I'm done. And nobody's going to pick her up, protect the services. Where are you? I'll see y'all in the next video.